Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Tuesday, and you know what? Uh, today, actually, we're going to today's 12, right? So we're going to have a able able event, or we can say keynote. So we're going to have that later today, maybe around seven, eight, around there. We should watch that. And why am I showing you this? Because you know what? Uh, Apple is actually one of the biggest companies uh, actually in NASDAQ. So this actually, maybe they might introduce um, iPhone 15 uh, and other products. And maybe that will push the market. But remember, once they release them or once they introduce them, some mostly... They will say, okay, maybe in few, maybe next month is going to be available next month or something like that. So it's not like it's going to have like exactly a once effect and we'll start to see the market jumping, you see. So, but we're supposed to watch that and understand what's really happening because now you are a trader, right? You are a trader. You're supposed to know what's really happening. I hope you're going to check that. Uh, maybe tomorrow we will be on the same page. And as we know that... In China, they said uh, mostly government employees, whatever, so they're not going to use Able. That might also have an effect because that will mean that the demand is starting to go lower. But we will see. And that will mean actually maybe even the likes of Nasdaq might start to not push the way we want it to push. Today, when we check on our economic calendar, we see that yesterday uh, there was nothing. Uh, Tuesday. Uh, I can say uh, actually we don't actually have uh, anything because this happened around 8 and now it's around to 11. So which means we're just waiting for tomorrow, which is going to be uh, CPI, uh, half past 2. This is going to be interesting. Here it's where we capitalize actually news if you know how to trade the news it's where you can capitalize so going further thursday we have unemployment change from australia and uh, early in the morning uh let's see half past two we have core ppi core retail sales and employment claims this is going to just make the market go crazy there's so many one two three four five news actually around the same time that most likely the market will just go up and down not really much because some is going to be positive some uh, negative some are going to be some sort of negative so that will just cancel each other so on friday we don't really have much so i think uh, tomorrow which is wednesday and thursday is going to be a day where the market will be trying to push up and down please please don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends so let, now let's go actually on our quick analysis guys as we do this analysis every day so i'm trying to just make them very quick because as I update you every, every day. So the best thing that you can do is to subscribe and like, share with your friends so that the channel can grow. As you know, we start with DXY, a dollar index. Actually, we can easily see that the market moved from this area yesterday, pushed lower, and it seems like the market found a support. It seems like now the market is bouncing back. And when we see the market bounce back, most likely we will see the dollar getting stronger again. But I was hoping maybe the market will reach at this area so that we can eat on other pairs. But it seems like the market is not really doing that. The market is not actually doing that. What I see here is I can easily see, you can easily see that the market actually bounced back around this area. And it's fair, we can see that the market used to respect this area before. You can see this area. So it's the same zone actually, the same zone. Uh, that the market actually used to respect. I can s do something like that. You see that. So that's why we see the market bouncing back. I thought maybe the market will reach this area. That did not really happen. So which means, it means like the market will try to push the upside. We saw that CPI might actually push the upside. And if we check the bigger picture, you can see that, oh, this thing is actually, DXY is still actually on a very aggressive bullish momentum. Do you see that? It is actually still on that uh, aggressive momentum, actually uptrend. You see that. So, which means uh, here we might have something like that. So, the market might start to do what? The market might give us something like this. Do you 
do you see that? That is something that we, we might have. And the market might do that, which means uh, as long as we are still on an uptrend, that is actually what we're supposed to expect. Maybe the market might surprise us, but what I want, I just want to see it pushing lower. It, dollar is getting stronger way too much. But tomorrow, that is the desire. Tomorrow, we're going to know what will happen. You can see here on GBP uh, USD, we are on GBP USD. Uh, what's really happening? You can see that. Uh, let me go on a daily time frame so that you can see. On the daily time frame, you can see that, yes, the market, yes, what it was pushing to the upside. Obviously, you can see that the market tried to push the upside. Uh, we see the support. We have a, a breakout there. And the market was just consolidating yesterday. So which means here, as the dollar is getting stronger, we start to receive a, 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 a red candlestick, which means it's bear is bearish candlestick which means the market is now pushing lower let's go closer there and see uh i'm on the two hours time frame you can see that okay the market is doing what is now consolidating remember i told you about this consolidating thing after the breakout the market is just doing something like that after this breakout so what i, I told you is let's wait for a breakout let's wait for a breakout whether on this support before we look for a sell or maybe on this resistance before we look for what? For a buy. Something like that. Or let me just go a little bit on a 4 hours time frame. Maybe you will see that prop, uh, properly. You see that. So just because now the dollar is stronger, you saw that on DXY, we see the market reversing. So there is a chance, again, that the market can still do something like that. The market can do this, especially when tomorrow it's actually a day where everyone's just focusing at, 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 actually. So that is going to be seriously, the market might consolidate worse. So mostly before uh, every day before high impact news, I just decide to stay out of the market unless if maybe I'm going to trade something that is doesn't really uh, have like USD pair, you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for a breakout, uh, but we just have to be extra careful. But it's clear the market already broke out, so which means we're expecting the market to push lower. But let's wait for this support to be broken out. I hope you see that. So let's push to the next one. Uh, we just have to make this video very quick. It's just a quick update, right? So on Euro USD, we also had the same thing. Uh, the thing is, the thing is, uh, we have new people every day. So that's why I sometimes go on a daily time frame just to show uh, them what happened. But you can still go on uh, on previous videos that I've done so that you can see what what, what happened before we reach where we are now. So what's really happening is, yes, we, we can easily see that we are actually on an uptrend. The market just broke out. Now we're expecting what? We're expecting the market to push lower. It's obvious the market just broke out, but we can't just jump in uh, because it seems like the market is just consolidating, which means the market is thinking, we can say maybe it's thinking or just trying to decide which direction to take. We can see that the market is just playing around here. This is our breakout. The market was uh, giving us some support, but the market broke out. That's why we see the market touching these areas, pushing lower. So the market can do that several times, especially when we have the news. Today, I'm going to just repeat this thing of uh, high impact news because we know tomorrow there's CPI and we know from CPI we're going to have FOMC all those things they link guys they link so that's why they do matter so what we're going to see here is uh, are we just going to wait for this breakout to happen before we take any any decision so quite similar to actually Nasdaq quite sorry not Nasdaq quite similar to GBP USD there is a consolidation so we're just waiting for a breakout. I hope you see that. So let's push to the next one. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Like, share with your friends. And yes, that special is still actually on until this Friday. Yes, until this Friday. It's actually $19. So until this Friday. So if you want to be part of the team, it's VIP Signals. 
uh, unlimited, which is lifetime. You pay once, then you forget. After Friday, we're going back on our $150. So now we are actually on gold. What's really happening? We can easily see that the market uh, was pushing to the upside very nice. It was actually on an uptrend. It was very clear, very, very, very clear. What's really happening now is the market broke out. And maybe we'll see. I'm repeating this thing so that you can start to see them. The market just broke out. Guess what? Now the market is doing what? The market is consolidating. Quite similar to what happened on GBPUSD. Quite similar to what happened on EURUSD. You will start to realize that the market actually moves quite the same. So we see a breakout. And guess what? The market doesn't just continue pushing lower. The market starts by doing what? The market starts by consolidating. So which means there is a chance that the market maybe is just... Uh, 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 adjusting there is a chance that the market can do what can start to push the upset but uh, it's not like maybe we're not going to to take trades after this breakout once it breaks out here the market can continue quite similar way but pushing lower let me show you something like here we also have the quite similar structures you can see the market consolidate here push up here consolidated unfortunately the market broke out but even here the market can do the same thing consolidate push lower consolidate push lower consolidate push lower but the first consolidation like this one here it's quite diff uh, difficult just to jump in because most of the time the market does what the market can reverse and this thing happens this these days because the market is way too volatile guys there is so much stuff going on things are not really stable in the US, we heard that it seems like COVID is coming back again here. And the, it was never, actually, it did not disappear, obviously. It was there in small numbers, but it seems like just because it's around winter, it seems like it's starting to pop up again. Let's hope that it's not going to crash the market. But I don't think people will panic that much, right? So now we are actually on US 30. Let me, uh, we are actually on US 30. Let me show you this. Okay, yeah, I wanted to show you this. Actually, you can see on the screen, you can post that. These are my numbers. You can just WhatsApp me. $19 unlimited signals, VIP signals. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's really happening on Euro uh, on US 30? Yes, the market is still actually doing what? The market is actually on this uptrend. Uptrend, guys, it's uptrending, still pushing to the upset. The market is still pushing to the upside and we like that but just because there is so much stuff going on the market will slow down but tomorrow tomorrow we might see the market trying to put to do what to push to the upside again you can see what happened here so what is going to happen tomorrow yes it has that effect but we should not focus only on that. We also have our technical analysis, which we can focus on actually. So what I see here is you can see the market touched our support and then it's starting to push the upside. So we might have some reversals along the way, but I'm still expecting the market to do what? To try to push to the upside. So let's go, let's go, let's go on four hours time frame. I'm trying to make this video very short, but hey, it's like I'm talking too much. And I'm talking too much to a point where this video end up to be very long so we can see that the market is coming from this support area this support area we have a diagonal structure which the market broke out but what i see here is the market created a sort of a support and the market is actually around this area so which means we might see the market pushing to the upside let's go on a smaller time frame just to see what's really happening just to see what's really happening yeah you see where we are now i think a nice buy can can work a nice buy can work but unfortunately when we have uh, the news like this uh, when we expect in the news oh yeah i think somewhere there so which means yeah, yeah the stop loss is gonna be a little bit lower and it means you're going to force to push this they take profit a bit higher. So, but it's something like that. I'm expecting to see the market to push the upside, but maybe we, it's better to wait for the market to open and see what's really happening. Why we, we, we expect to trade mostly when the market opens? Because mostly the market will move nicely in that direction, or if maybe it's reversing, it will not hesitate to do that. But before the news, the market will just consolidate, consolidate before, then you end up losing. And you find out that later on, 
you're actually going to be in the right side of the market. Unfortunately, you entered very early. We sh we're supposed to understand that also. Entering too early before the market opens is also risky. It's very, very risky. So now we are actually on NASDAQ. We had, ish. I think we had this signal yesterday. I don't know, but the market did reverse aggressively. But we have a, we had a signal on the NASDAQ. We had a signal on NASDAQ. So I'm, I'm trying to think actually. So I no longer remember where we entered because I was doing some adjustment there, here and there. So, but the bigger picture here is, yes, the market was actually was actually on this up thread you can go back and watch other videos you can see the market was pushing to the upside so where we are now we are actually continuing on this up trend we are continuing with this up trend but the structures are not really clear guys because the reversals are crazy the market is just pushing up down up down so that actually makes the market so uh, the structure to be not uh, it's, this, it's not really clear but what I like is it tried, actually the market tried to push a little bit higher. So I'm expecting maybe a nice reversal before maybe we look for a buy. If that doesn't really happen, it means maybe we will see the market trying to push the upset. Around this area, there are points where I can point as sort of resistant. But since the market is giving us this aggressive resist, uh, aggressive aggressive reverse reversals it doesn't really create uh, a nice or clear structure it doesn't really create that but what are we going to have here like here you want to know if maybe this is going to be our next support this one is clear i can say yes that seems to be going to be our next next resistance so we can stick to that but here where will you say maybe the market is going to reach that as a support it's very difficult because the market is just aggressively pushing up, reversing very quick. But at the same time, we don't really have proper structures uh, quite similar to what we had before. Like maybe this one's here or this one's. But what we can do is let's just wait for a nice reversal or maybe for a breakout before maybe we jump on that market. But the bigger picture here is, is to get a better entry we already know that we are actually on an uptrend which means which means we're supposed to look for buy positions but we're supposed to be extra careful when we are actually taking those buy positions please don't forget to smash the subscribe button like share with your friends and don't forget to be patient so thank you very much guys uh thank you very much i will see you on the next one bye